Hello there, everybody. How's it going? Brian here, and it's been a very long time. It's been, like, what, almost five months now since I've uploaded something? I've had a lot of crap going on these since the beginning of the year, so I haven't really, really had the desire to go ahead and really do any uploads, but I finally decided to get off my lazy ass and stop feeling sorry for myself and go ahead and start doing something. So here we go. We're going to be playing Ace Combat 7. This is a game that has been one of my favorite fighter jet games since I was growing up. So, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes. Now, I know the microphone is pretty close, but I'm kind of doing an experiment to see, like, how it works with it closer to my mouth than it would be way over here, where it's, like, so far out of the frame, it's like, um... Is it even picking anything up? So, I'll actually be able to see the difference when I go to edit this later. But anyways, let's go and let's give this a try. I pretty much just set up all the settings and stuff like that beforehand, but apparently, I gotta do it again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, we're going to play through the storyline, new game. I'm going to do normal. Just because I always like to do things normal. I don't like doing, like, hard modes and stuff like that. But anyways, here we go. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there, cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up.
I flew up, straight up, through the clouds, higher into the sky. Dark blue. I could almost touch it. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. You should have been wearing a vest to see this piece of junk. Should have built a return to. Is everyone here? Settle down. Calm down. So settle down. <laughs> you have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Thank you. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately after. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. That's not good. It's possible that the Yuzhin ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of That's today, not good either. Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. Okie dokie. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will. What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. Uh, How's that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many uh, no. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. Ah, uh, no! This is not a drill. Do I get to choose my jet? Or do I just get to go ahead and just gotta go in there and just do what I gotta do? Alright, well, here we go. Oh, there's only one target. We had no ground targets, no naval targets, just one target. Okay. Clown. <laughs> Knocker, brownie, golem, three and four. Alright, here we go. Oh, well, there's the... Uh, so that one must be me in the background. Do I get to choose a jet? Do I get to choose a jet? I guess not yet. Aw, oh, man. Eh, you, you never do in the big... Ooh! F-16C. Oh! The fighting... Okay! Aw, oh, man, I gotta put the hat on, man. All right, here we go, baby. You can't be playing a game without playing. You can't be playing a jet game without having a jet hat, man. All right, here we go, baby. Let's kick some ass. All right, that'll work. Sorty, baby. Here we go. Meet squadron. Aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. All right. Do I get to take off and stuff like that? Do I get to do all that stuff by myself? Take down the house of bombers. You got it. I'm all over it. I'm surely not going to die on this first mission. At least I hope not. Because if I do, that'd be pretty sad. Do I get to take Radar off? Radar sight's still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main squadron, head to runway. Column Squadron, take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, Mage Squadron. All 
Power Rangers. Right Coastline is Mage 2. Verify and read back. Mage 2, clear for takeoff. There's that. Your situation is tight. Oh, it's Look a hell of an upcoming party. My but clear for video. Good luck. Fly up and down. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ah, here we go. Come on, baby. Get your butt a rolling. Mage two scramble. Take off now. All right, we're up. We're up, buddy. Mage two altitude restrictions lifted. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Oh yeah. Man. Oh, that. Looks like the harbor's taking a lot of damage. Crazy. Can't have any more casualties. Yeah. Time to stop the bullshit. Okay, that does that. Mage two, up. form up with Mage one. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golem uh, 4, understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Uh, Take down uh, all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. Is your they hit our Accelerate radars hard our in the last attack. Closing. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Wilco. All right, here we go. Trigger, I'm your wingman. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Well, there's one right in front of me. Okay, here we go. Looks like bombers have been located. It's your Reduce time, your Trigger. Speed. Let's see if you can handle the spotlight. Okay. Accelerate again. You're a good pilot. Or so I told them. I had to fill an empty spot, so. Approach the long. blah blah blah. You locked on. It's still a leash, though. Nice. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage Two. Thank Not you. bad, Mage Two. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. I see it. I can see him. Let's get, let's get over to him. Not too bad. Not too bad so far. Looks like everybody else is already at the party and we're just sitting back oh look at that oh that's cool you're in the clouds like all the water goes ahead and like start spraying on the on the sheet on the screen over there how freaking cool is that let's go introduce ourselves okay I see a MIG over Watch here. Out Get him. Ah, bummer. Yes. This is so cool. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are, you bastard. Fox 2. Fox 2. They're after me. We're after you? Yeah! Awesome! Someone shoot at me. Who shoot at me? That's a miss. It is not a miss. Coming. Ooh, someone's right behind me. <laughs> oh no, it just doesn't want to do what I want to do. Enemy what the heck? Take that, knucklehead! Destroy the target. Going ahead and messing with me. All right, here we go. Let's get back after this guy over here. I feel like this is gonna be a straight shot. Oh shoot, we got a timer up there. I didn't know he had a timer over there. Beautiful! Confirmed down. Looking good, Mage 2. 
Get him. We all done. Ooh, we got another target over here. Targets in range. Pair of bombers. All right, let's get at him. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was gonna miss. Oh well, we're gonna have to try again. Turn around and get him on the way back. There we go. Now we got him. Hey, look at all that. Man. Bomber down. Nice going, Mage 2. Kick. What? Not too shabby, Mage 2. You still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some players back at base if you can make it in one piece. Awesome. Skykeeper, this is Mage 1 over. Tally 2 bandits. Copy that. It's a bomber and an escort. Oh, there, Trigger. Settle down. Mage 2, maintain your element with Mage 1. Do not break off. Mage 1, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Wilco. Golem 2, let's maintain element. Where Copy that, Commander. Yeah, yeah. I've got your six covered, sir. I see ya! Radio. I'm coming for ya. I'm gonna do Golem. something stupid. Mage, two new enemy groups. Oh! Target is down. Bad -a boy, Trigger. This is HQ. Uh -oh. Attention all combat groups. We got a lot of stuff coming our right way now. Verify. Are you kidding me right now? Jesus, this is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. <sighs> you may be, so I can't tell them apart. Got him. Got him. Coming. Don't worry, brothers. I won't let you die. That easy. We got so much. Let's try the special weapon. Let's see what we can do with this. Can we get them both? Probably not. Let's get this guy first. Missiles. Don't have any of the. Oh man. Ah! Oh, those are the ones I. Oh man. That's stupid. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a dang it right there. Whoops. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Man, it sure would have been nice to have those bomb, those um, other four AAM bombs. Get them. My guy, so cool. All right, who else we got? Age. Job well done. All bombers are down. Looks like we got Radar everybody. Shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Yes. Nice. Get it. We totally totally didn't like die the first tanks. time either. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece. You hear? Yeah. Got I'm it. With the boss man on this. Column Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? Ooh, do, 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 do. Oh, boy. Column 1, return to base and report for debriefing. Got it, buddy. Where are we going exactly? <laughs> That's always kind of cool because they show you like the replay of like how everything worked out and stuff like that. I don't, yeah. yeah okay. so, I really like these games because they always have like a good story to them and stuff like that. My favorite one out of the whole group was like Ace Combat 5. That was like my most favorite game out of, out of the whole series. And I think there was another one too, like Ace Combat Zero, Belt Wars. That was a good one too. But, we're just gonna skip that because we don't care about that. We already lived it, we saw it already. We don't have to see it again. How do we do, Captain? We're currently assessing the damage to the base. We have oh, confirmed too bad. that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogeys were from Arusha. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhan continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. I always think it's kind of cool how it like shows like your trajectory and stuff like that like how much time it took you to do everything like how you flew all like the past that all your allies flew stuff like that all the things you did it's such a cool little concept i wonder what this would look like in vr i have a feeling this would be pretty damn cool because i i don't know I, I don't have a vr headset so i don't know if i'll be able to see like what's happening in like the hud but I used to actually fly the planes in the, like the older games from inside, so this is kind of, I don't know if I'm going to have the ability to do that this time around without a VR headset. Anyway. The aircraft here has been unlocked. Yes! That should be fun. Alright. 
Next mission. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Erugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on, I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Osean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. The world was screwed. Twenty years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erugia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erugia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erujian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. Heartbreaking. 
I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arugia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats, and the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought, that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. They found out. And set the dogs on me. Probably should have thought that out a little bit, huh? Not exactly the smartest thing to do. Erusia has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Erusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzhen. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, okay. fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Got it, boss. I'm all over it. I'm gonna kick some butt, take some names, and we're gonna just not die, hopefully. Alright, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Obtained aircraft weapons and aircraft and aircraft trees. Ah, right, we gotta check this out first. Points of war depending on your performance and mission and matches that can be exchanged in your equipment. Blah, 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 blah. You receive them in campaign mode for each mission you complete, and then in multiplayer mode for each match you play, the very performance during by your control. Completion time, number of kills, blah, 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 blah. Items on the aircraft tree. Okay, we're just gonna skip all this. Okay, so this must be a weapon that I already have. This must be something that I don't have. How do I know how much? Okay, there we go. Yes. Okay, now, do we have enough to get the Tomcat? I think this is a Tomcat, right? Super Tom, Super Tomcat. Oh, that's even better. Uh, this is another F-16 multi-wear kit based on the F-16. Right, we're gonna go. All right. Well, that'll work for now. Wait, hold on a second. Did I? Can I like upgrade the engine? No. It's already got that. Okay, never mind. 
All right, let's start the mission. Let's do it. Now. What do we... I'm guessing guided penetration bomb. That's for air to ground. We don't need that. This is air to air. I think I like these guys better. Alright. Let's do it. What happens if I do this? Oh. Oh, it sends me back here. Okay, I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. Mage Squadron sorting ASAP. All right, here we go. Our target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. Destroy the target. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. But a uh, enemy do. aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how oh. war is these days. Do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? They should be close. Yep. I got them. Even though I just passed one. Huh. That's pretty cool. <sighs> it's popping off now, Trigger. The war has officially begun. Well, that's Well, that'll be bad. Vehicle down here. Alright. Going for the radar car. They've got their anti air guns aimed right at us. Well, that sucks. It's alright, we got this though. We're using the container. It's gonna be simple. Those weapons are meant for tactical flexibility. Target destroyed. Five to go. Get the fire. Woo hoo boy! Oh well. We can't wait any longer. We need interceptors now. Shit. Where are the damn interceptors? Full power, baby. Target destroyed. Three to go. Continue to engage at your discretion. Missile. Enemy interceptors inbound. Missile. Prepare to engage in 30 seconds. We'll go. Here they go. That's not good. Take them down. Okay, recruits. Pay attention to who's on what side. The newest IFF is connected to our entire force via satellites. It's reliable, so trust your radars. Enemy third strikes are falling. Got it, Watch boss man. Mage 2, missile away. Two targets remaining. That radar was just about to go online. We pushed the plan forward too fast. The base was too far from Allied territory. Oh, well, I guess I'll take these two down, I guess. Then we'll worry about the air fighters. Helicopters, aren't they? they have a lock on you, Shaco. And these guys are going down. Locked, it's chow time. H2, box two. That's not what I want. Got him. Got him. Clear 
It is a helicopter. Nice. All right, I'll get you. Fox two. Got him. I showed them his boss. Them was boss. Stay sharp while you're in the clouds. They didn't want to have them. I'm doing bad, aren't I? I know that those are jets, or carriers rather. I don't have to play nice anymore. Missile launch. 
watched. Three targets remain. Goodbye. Goodbye. What the hell was that? What was in that thing? Wait a minute. We gotta get. Took longer than Skies I wanted. Clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. Right. RTP. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Oh. Returning to base. I don't know. I see. Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. You shoot, someone gets killed. Call warning. Ah. The guys in charge take care of the rest. 
got it. So that's not there. Nice. Good target. You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. It's a shame that I like missed the first group, but whatever. We got them all eventually. And that's all that matters. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a long time since I posted, but this will probably be the first that I actually work on. Hopefully to finish this. I'm sorry it was so long, but I I am I should have thought of how to organize this better. But anyways, the next episode should be shorter. Hopefully, we'll do it like mission by mission instead of doing it like a bunch of missions all at once. So thank you again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone. Have a good one.